Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we have from Forky. Hey Cap, I watched a documentary about the F-15 Eagle where it dove towards the ground and messed up the MiG-29 chasing it. If you could try this, that would be greatly appreciated. Well, let's have a look at the link. January 1991, Operation Desert Storm. Cesar Rodriguez tries to avoid being shot down by an Iraqi MiG-29. The incoming MiG is just seconds away from blowing Rodriguez out of the sky. And so I go strictly into the defensive. Rodriguez banks left and dives down fast. If he can confuse the MiG's radar, he might have a fighting chance. I want to force his radar to look down into the ground environment. Now the radar's got to recalculate to deliver a weapon. Rodriguez must escape the Iraqi MiG's deadly grasp. I'm in 100% survival mode. Unless his wingman acts quickly. Stop. That's as far as we go, as far as today is concerned. This F-15 is being spiked or locked or tracked by the hostile MiG-29. This means that once that MiG-29 is within range, it can launch a radar-guided missile against us. That's bad. We want to prevent him from doing that. So we're going to go defensive with something called a diving notch. We achieve two things with a diving notch. One, we notch his radar. All modern pulse Doppler radars have what we call a notch filter in them. That means that if we fly at a certain speed towards or away from the hostile in relation to the ground, we can put our aircraft within the hostile's notch filter and he will lose his track on us and he can no longer fire his missile. It also does a second thing. By losing altitude and assuming that the hostile is up a co-altitude or higher, then if we dive, we will position ourselves so that we are presented below the horizon. And from the hostile's point of view, we are shrouded in background clutter of the terrain. Now, a modern post Doppler radar like that of a MiG-29 can still lock a target that's highlighted against the terrain. It has look down, shoot down functionality, but it is harder than if we were presented against a clear sky. So... To reiterate, in terms of evading the possible threat of a missile to be fired, we're using a diving notch. That will A, place ourselves in the hostile's notch filter, and he will lose a track, no longer be able to fire the missile, and B, for when the hostile tries to re-engage us, tries to re-lock us, we will be silhouetted against the terrain, and it will be harder for him to lock us. Now remember, in terms of tactics, this can only really be performed if A, we've got a wingman, which he does, who can go on and then shoot the MiG-29 down, or B, we are going to exit the fight. So we're going to do this manoeuvre, we're going to turn around and we're going to run away. So before we show you the move working in DCS, and of course this will all be modelled in DCS to a good solid degree, note that I have linked in this video description a more detailed video looking at radar notching and why it works. So we're going to show you this move from both sides. The situation is very likely as it would have been in the real confrontation. We've got both aircraft co-altitude or near to it around 26, 27,000 feet both achieving around 300 KIAS. First, we're going to show you what happens if he does not do the diving notch. So Simba, please just head towards me without doing the notch. I am gonna turn my radar on. Okay, now I'm gonna look for him on my radar and you can see that little double line up there where my little box is, my TDC is, is him. And I can lock that symbol. And you can see I now have a lock or a track on him. He's being spiked by me. Now, when I get within a certain range, then I can fire my missile. That is 50 kilometers up there. That is zero kilometers there, so it's about 30. And when it's about, I'd guess, about 25 kilometers there, I will pull the trigger and fire the missile. So we'll just get a little bit closer. You can see him there being highlighted by the diamond, by the way. In range, fire the missile, and that's a dead F-15. Now we're going to repeat it with the defensive notch as showed in the videos. This time, Simbit is going to perform the diving notch where I tell him, so I'm um, pausing radar on on the radar those twin little lines there that's our, that's uh simba i'm gonna lock him we've locked him and he is shown as that little diamond there now please perform the diving notch simba see what happens to our radar and we've lost lock not only have we've lost lock but we can't re-lock because there's no two dash lines so he is going to drop i don't know if you eagle-eyed viewers may be able to spot him diving down there and you can see him down there but there is nothing that I can do to re-achieve a radar lock because A he's in my notch filter and B he's about there now he's silhouetted against the terrain once 
he gets to the bottom of that dive well that's the end of this simulation because all we want to show is the diving notch he is either gonna run away if he's on his own would be the most likely thing to do or if he's got a wingman he will distract the mig like this while the wingman, wingman comes in for a flanking attack or whatever their tactic is so next we just need to show it with myself uh, doing the diving notch note that when i perform the diving notch the speed won't really matter i could do it at 150 knots or i could do it at 900 knots it's not going to make any difference i'm pausing now let's let simba get himself set up in the mig-29 mig-29 is now nailing me MiG-29 is now spiking me. He can now fire his missile once we're within kinematic range. So I'm going to perform the manoeuvre now. Like I said, it doesn't need to be fast. Tell me when you lose um, your lock, please, lead. Lost. That's it. That's as, far as, as far as we need to go. Very hard for him, if not impossible, for him to regain lock. He can burn through my stunt within a certain range. The range is going to differ between aircraft depending on the power and the quality of the radar but it's going to be somewhere between six or ten miles before he can burn through and relock me due to pure radar power one more thing to point out a diving notch is either performed defensively or offensively the chap in this reenactment used it defensively because he was going defensive while his wingman went in for the attack if we wanted to use this diving notch offensively by well i'll just show you if i wanted to go and re-attack like this so i've broken his lock now i'm going to pull up I'm going to find him, uh, engage my own weapons. I'm going to pause again now, Lee. Then that would have been a offensive notch, but that's something for another day. Anything you want to add, lead? No, just be sure you have the advantage if you're doing an offensive notch. Yeah, absolutely, because uh, he'll pick me up really easily. Like we said, that's for another day. I hope that was useful, and see you later.